A loss of two, and it'll be second down. And that was a nice play by the defense, and it is tough to be an offensive lineman nowadays, especially if you're dealing with how the defensive tackles have evolved. Their quickness, their agility, their speed has changed the big guys in the middle, the center and the offensive guards. Formerly, they were just power players. Now they have to be light on their feet as well to keep up with the speed of the defensive players. Maybe a gain of a yard that time, but yeah, from the spot, actually no gain. So third and long. Well, that was better than the first go around when he lost yardage, but still nothing there, and that sets up a third and long. Tough spot here. Put it mildly, sometimes I wonder if some of that old school football should come back into play. You know what I would think here? Quick kick. Try and change field position. Help out your team. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. And he's certainly not a guy that drops that football very often. Indeed, because that's a bit of a surprise. I know he's in the middle of some traffic and people and bodies all around him, but he usually has the focus to haul that one in. And this is good. He got just enough to clear the crossbar as he drops it in from long distance. And that'll push the lead up to 13 to nothing. So it's a seven-play drive, but it stalls out in the end. Let's credit the defensive front seven. They were a little leaky at the start of the drive, but they stiffened toward the end. And he'll probably wish he reconsidered here. It'll cost him 10 yards now with a new rule as he's down at the 15-yard line. The Seattle now ready to march out of the field. And with this deficit, you can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to punt it away. You know what I would tell my offense right here? The punter doesn't exist, guys. He doesn't even exist. He's not a team anymore. I just cut it. All right? So you've got to go out and create some offense for us here and give us some points. No way does that guy get on the field on this job. Poor punter. Yeah, he, it, it wasn't his fault. But some, hey, listen. If some guy, there are going to be casualties at times. We're trying to win a game. It's a tried and true formula, and I don't think it'll change for as long as we play football. If someone's trying to throw the ball and you can put pressure on them and make it tough, that's only going to help your defense. Yeah, he's since being hurried. He got rid of it before taking the hit, but incomplete. A second down carry for Crosos. And not a whole lot to speak of there as they'll bring him down shy of the 20. Call it about a gain of three, and they'll be looking at a third and seven coming up. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. The tight end, Luke Wilson, was the target, and it brings up fourth down. Well, they've had a pretty frustrating first half here offensively, and then just continued there with that incompletion. Yeah, definitely frustrating for them, but heartening for the other guys. Those stop troops, they're enjoying things right now because they've made it very difficult for them throughout the half. And the punt goes out of bounds. Where will they put it? They'll put it just inside the 45-yard line. Carolina getting set to take the field. And fortunate to get points on the board last time. They had to hit a really long field goal to do so. The kickers in today's game are so good and so skilled and hit from distances that we almost start to take them for granted. Mm -hmm. And we can't do that. That's a long field goal that they got three points out of. They've got to feel good about that. And they better make sure they love him up because he's helped them out. Yeah, now we'll see if that offense can put six on the board here. We'll see. Seven yards on the play, and it'll make it second down. He decided to run a hitch right. It really helped to have a guy who could turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. Possible run anticipation here as the D-line sandwiches together. To throw on second down is Newton. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. When you hear screen, screen, screen on defense, that's a little bit scary because you know a big play might result. He was so ready to get to part two of the screen, he forgot part one, couldn't get the ball. They come out with one back and three tight ends. They'll try to run for it with Yeldon. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. It'll be called a gain of two, and that'll leave them with some options here on fourth and inches. 
partner, when you're not able to run the ball successfully, it really messes everything up for an offense because no longer are you setting the tone and dictating the game. If you do want to throw the ball, play action's kind of gone out the window because they don't respect the run. And last but not least, you don't get to dictate it all when you want to throw the football, and that really hurts you as an offense. They snap it to Newton. And it is incomplete. Boy, it looked like he had it and dropped it. And the Seahawks are going to take over the football. The Seahawks offense now, they get ready to head back onto the field. And still no points on the scoreboard. You're coming off of the three and out. They're just looking for anything to grab onto right now, aren't they? I'm wondering if someone's going to take charge in the huddle. You know, we always look and look to the quarterback, but sometimes it's another player on the team, a star, a veteran, someone with some excitement and energy. It's like, all right, guys, let's shake things up and let's go because they still have an opportunity to make things happen. Shake it off. A one-yard gain can look like a disaster, but it all depends on how the game is going. Is it a series of one-yard gains running the ball? If that's the case, you might have to start thinking about throwing it a little bit more. But if it's just the occasional one-yard run, hey, congratulations to the defense. They won that one. Come back and get them the next time. Here's Wilson. Pressure comes, and Wilson's going to go down. They'll wind up losing a full nine yards here on the sack. Now it's third down. So a big sack on second down. Now let's see what the offense has in store for third. And now we get a timeout called on the defensive side of the ball by the Panthers. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage looked defensively. Third and long, it's Wilson. Looking for Lockett, and it's intercepted. A great read, and it's picked off. And he's just across midfield and down at the 49-yard line. Here come the Panthers now, set to take over on offense. And last time they were very fortunate, this offense. They went for it on four, turned it over in their own territory. But the other guys held up. They didn't give up any points. So how about the guy with the number one headset on the sidelines, the head coach? <laughs> now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Newton. It's complete right side to Benjamin. He got 18 yards out of that one, and it gets him a new set of downs. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme, and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. A good pick up there, 22. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. T.J. Yeldon as the first half is winding down. And the Panthers add on to their lead. And that one pushes the lead up to an even 20. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. And out now come the Seahawks. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. They come out here in the eye. The drive starts with C.J. Procise. And he'll take this up near the 35, maybe the 34. 
Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. On second down, Wilson. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. So we reach halftime. Now, never mind, Larry. Forget your halftime report. Apparently, we are set for the third quarter of action already. So both teams have their marching orders, and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. And Seattle now ready to march out of the field. They come out here with a zero on the scoreboard. What was said in that locker room? That's what I want to know. I would love to have been in there because we often have the feeling that there's a lot of shouting, screaming, people upset. But typically, halftime locker rooms are a lot more clinical than that. And in this case, are they upset that the plays weren't working because of execution? Or did they think just they were just bad plays to call? Yeah. We'll find out pretty quickly here if they feel like they had something going, but they just need to do it a little bit better or not. We'll find out. See if they stay on the ground for second down. Back to Procise. And he'll fight forward to about the 27 yard line. Back to back one yard runs here, so that leaves him with a third down and eight. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. On third down, Wilson. And that is incomplete. Tyler Lockett was the target there. And fourth down coming up. If you're a defender, one of the fun things about playing zone defenses, especially in today's football, is that it's not as static as it was in the good old days, meaning you just drop to a point and react into the football. Now you end up with a lot of man-to-man -man principles once you get into your zone defense. In other words, get to your assignment and then locate a guy coming into your area, and then you end up covering him almost man for man. That allows him to make more plays on the football like the one we just saw there. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. They were able to get the ball back here, didn't surrender any points. Now they'll look to add to that lead. Now how about the boost the defense gave them? Going right out on the field, shutting them down, not giving up any points, and turning the ball back over. They want to do their part now and show them a little respect and some gratitude <laughs> by scoring some points. And to get a little more cushion. They'll run it again with Yeldon. Yeldon fighting. He lost the football. 20. Wow. That ball gets knocked free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. They come out here in the eye. They'll try and run for it with Yeldon. He pushes forward for maybe three down to the six-yard line. So that run gets him about halfway home. Yeah, it's now second and goal. The end zone beckons. It looms. They can do whatever they want. Full playbook. Run it again, or they can go play action and try and put it in that way. Six yards still to go here on second and goal. And not a whole lot there. He does get a couple, taking it from the five down to the three. Tough day. Tough sledding right there. And it's been that way the entire game. Not a whole lot of room to ramble for him. Yeah, you're right. It's been that way all afternoon. Didn't get a whole lot better there. They'll try to punch it in with Yeldon. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. It'll be called a gain of two, and that'll leave him with some options here on fourth and inches. Well, Brandon, we always know that once you score one touchdown, you, you want two. Yeah, you're without a doubt. And so far today, he's got one, but was denied as he tried to get the second one. And this one is right through. And that will extend their lead even further. So three field goals for him here, and this last one helps him stretch out the lead. And he's been solid as usual, and this is what you need to do. Make sure you get points out of every possession, and so far they've done a nice job of that. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And he'll 
will take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Seahawks offense now, they get ready to come back onto the field. And last drive, three and out. Still a goose egg on the scoreboard. How do they break that?